Hey guys, Cruel Blind Wave, I'm Eric. Rick, I'm Calvin. Aaron. And we're back with part two of oh, Tales of the Jedi Lord. season ah. one. We've watched the first three. If you haven't seen that video, please go on our channel and watch it. And we're going to be going right into the next set of three, talking about it in between and then at the end as well. So make sure you stick around for this whole video. And also subscribe because we also have our Badonka Don <laughs> Star Wars podcast that we have once a month. The next one's November 17th. It's a Thursday, yep. so make sure you guys uh, follow us over at twitch.tv slash blindway for that, and subscribe here uh, for all of our Star Wars content. Indeed. We ready? Ready! To the archives. Mm -hmm. We were just talking about her. What are you doing in the archives? Accepted. Master Cypher Diaz. Cypher Diaz. Uh-huh. Planet Kamina. He's gonna erase it? It's already started, huh? Kamina. Location deleted. Kamino archive data deleted. Your apprentice? Why gone? Yes. It would seem he has encountered a Sith Lord. Oh, oh right after episode one. Jedi High Council. Okay. Where was this encounter? Tatooine. Tatooine. Yes. So it's during I episode one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Deep in the outer rim, of course. Qui Gon Jinn always had such an. Yeah, he hasn't made it to Naboo yet. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, wait, Yaddle. Yaddle. Look at Qui Gon. Fucking oh, Yaddle, man. We get easy Yaddle. I guess word travels fast. Yes. Uh, statements to the council, or rather, but the wisdom of the council is to be cautious. Notice he speaks normally. Yeah. yeah. Obi Wan fills that role now. He acquits himself quite well. That's good. I should like to meet him someday. You will. We're always singing his praises. <sighs> but you're already involved, Dooku. All is already rolling. Are you all right? They grow up so fast. Our students. The answer, Jesus. The Sith Lord. The uh, fuck the <laughs> Sith Lord. Do we get to see him actually, like, why he leaves? On the Uti tree. <sighs> it's like the vision. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Funeral is to be held there. Yeah. Yaddle was there. Uh, it's following him. Did huh. he go into the works, you think? Oh, he is. Oh, fuck. I like this synth music. I know. It had yeah. the notes of like. It's very episode dun, three. Dun, yeah. dun, dun, dun. Such a tiny. Jedi. <gasps> Shit. Gone too far. I don't know what you mean. Why gone, Chin? You allowed Maul to kill him. You lost an apprentice and so did I. Oh, fuck. All in service of our greater goals. No. Is this where she disappears? Loyal to a greater cause. No. Yes. Oh, gosh. So I have been betrayed. No. Now you gotta prove your loyalty. He smiled, he knew exactly what he was saying. Mm -hmm. Don't believe her. Whatever lies. An angel and a devil on his shoulder. I'm afraid. I know you are. I'm afraid it is too late. <laughs> Short people. Yeah, right. <laughs> like Squirtle. Smash. Ah, <laughs> uh, is so tempting. Oh, it's on his on his back. <laughs> Backpack. Hiding under Sidious's robes. <laughs> He's so unworried, you know. Yeah, yeah I know. There's so much control. I am on your side, Dooku. Oh. 
ship. Yeah, his damn cackling. <sighs> That's a good shot. Running back to your council. Do it. Run back. Don't close the door. Okay, good. Oh, never mind. Fuck. <laughs> oh man. Look at you. It's like when uh, the curtains and rakes the car. Let me give you peace, Master Yaddle. Dallas, oh, Howard, is that who it was? was? Yaddle. Fuck. I kept hearing the voice. I'm like, the voice sounds so familiar and I can't place yeah. it. Yeah. It sounded like someone doing an old person voice. I oh. knew who was doing Sidious. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah, is so, it perfect? Right. Then yes, yeah. it's him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. I was like, I wonder who's going to be Sidious. And it was really great. And I was like, okay. And Qui Gon, too. But Yeah. Oh, man. Dude, having this take place during episode one, like, I really liked it. Yep. I like seeing more of Yaddle. I understand why Yaddle's not there later, too. And I'm like, that makes yep. so much more sense now. But Yaddle's on the council in episode one, right? Yes. And then yeah. she's not... I was thinking of even Peel, but she's not at the funeral. or No, the, uh, no you said that, and then I was like, no, she's man, not. am I downing myself No, I, I messed that up. I was thinking of even Peel. Yeah, because he's... I was like, there's a short guy there, and you yeah. know... With weird ears. <laughs> <laughs> but no, Yaddle wasn't there. No, because like, I always wonder, like, she man, what here. happened to Yaddle? Why is Yaddle not there anymore, you know? And yeah. She... And she appealed she, to his goodness and was like, dude, join me. <laughs> like, we can stop him. Uh, she resigned from the council. I really like the ending there with the door, but like, she opens it and it's like the last bit of light trying to get to Dooku to be like, don't do this. But then, like, she can't hold it. She You're falls right. out, the door slams shut, and it's just the darkness there, you know? know? And like, that just, light. It's like, blinding. It blinds Palpatine. Yeah. yeah. The he doesn't bright like light. That. Here's the strength. The Duke, veil of the Duke, dark side. This is the last yeah. chance of the light trying to hold on to you, and he refuses it, you know? And I like that. I like Dooku standing in front of the tree that's losing its leaves. Sure. The fall of the Republic. Talking about Qui-Gon and his death, too. Yeah. Like, you can look at it as the fall of the Republic, you can look yeah. at it as the death of, of Qui-Gon. Yeah. And as you said, Aaron, in that Clone Wars episode, Yoda has a vision of all of his friends still alive and happy, yeah. and Dooku is there as a Jedi, and they're at that tree. Yeah. yeah. So what did you think of that? That he took Qui Gon there because Qui Gon, who was born on Coruscant, I didn't know he was born on Coruscant. I didn't know he was Coruscant. Never got to really yeah. see plants. That's kind of crazy. And what a great tie to the Last Jedi. The same type of tree, Utai tree, is the what's the second text. Yeah, it's what's on Ark <laughs> Two that uh, Luke hides the text in, and then ultimately Yoda burns. <laughs> <Right? Just turn laughs> <their favorite> <laughs> Yes, we like the sequel ones. We love them. At least they yeah. do. I don't know. I, don't know. I don't know what any of these think, guys. No, I do. What they think? Rick likes them more than the prequels. <laughs> he probably does. I don't know. <laughs> I don't like them as a trilogy. Yeah, they're not great movies, but they're good Star Wars movies. They're good Star Wars movies, and it will be. We we'll have to do it at some point, but it's real. It'll be really fun now that you've seen Clone Wars to see how it's colored. The prequels. See, yeah. This year, yeah. like. It it really adds to Dooku's fall so yeah. much more seeing these and being like I fully get what he's seeing as to why he's kind of leading to where he's going you know yeah. and, and like I feel like he, like Rich right like there's some stuff like that that you don't get in the prequels yeah. Yeah. but they're already how long they are and it's like these weren't meant for their <laughs> stories but I like getting their stories and it helps flesh it out until the pod more. race put this in. No! Rick, okay, sorry. I don't know why you hate uh, pot races, but it's like, I mean, saying, I mean, it's like of... saying Greece, and like, give her to that race, and you get more time for other stuff. Like, ah, oh, Rick, you need a race. I just, 
I, you know, Dooku you was an agent of Sidious before, right? I mean, right? Like, he did all those things. Yeah. He, but he said, like, we both, I, I love it, like, we both lost an apprentice there. So Dooku was not a Sith yet. He yeah. can't be the rule of two, right? Sure. Yeah. No, he accepts him here after losing Maul. Yeah. Which yeah. makes sense, too, because I was always like, man, how does Dooku fall into this? But there's that time, yeah. you know, there's like, what, 10 years, whatever it is, in between episodes one and episode two. I was mm-hmm. like, well, maybe he, he got Dooku during that time. But yeah. he had to also make the clones, which took time to do. So yeah. where was Dooku during all this? And I like, this just fills out more of that. I love the meeting between Qui-Gon and Dooku, saying, like, like I, believe, <laughs> I believe that you saw a Sith... You know, Sith Lord, yeah. even though the council is just dismissing you, basically. Well, yeah, you I know? mean, he knows the truth. Yeah, like, why are right? Qui-Gon He knows it Maul and Sidious are out there. Sure, and that's he the He can't thing too. say, like, I know this is real, I've met them, I've spoken with them, and the council still doesn't believe I mean, it, evidence. It's their hubris. Like, it's yeah. hubris. this sure. can't exist. We would have seen it. Yeah. And the best example of that, we talked about it during the last episode, but the librarian, Master Jocasta, mm-hmm. being like, if it's not in the archives, it doesn't exist. You know, that's the hubris, that's the ego of the yeah. Jedi, being like, we know everything. And if it's not there, then it's not real, you know? And that's, like, exactly the same idea of, like, the council's like, no yeah. Sith Lords exist anymore. So you're, you're mistaken, you know? And it's just, it just matches. Maybe Dooku's a little bit right. And I like that. I like being able to understand Dooku and not just be like, What's wrong with this bad guy? He's just a bad guy. Yeah. What I really loved here was a little tiny peek into Palpatine Sidious's mind, where Dooku's like, what, you question my loyalty? And he goes, always. <laughs> <laughs> that is such a careful man. Every, and he's, a lot of people are loyal to him. Everyone that's loyal to him, he questions. Sure. Every day, every hour, he's always thinking about it. It only takes one. That's what he's thinking. The Jedi and, don't think about that. You're a Jedi. You do Jedi things. Well, and matching it up with Episode Three, where it's like he he sees that he's been a pawn this whole time. Like yeah. here, he believes he is fighting for a corrupt republic mm-hmm. and fixing it. Right, yeah. having the Separatists and making something new and better. Mm-hmm. And even the Jedi have fallen to the corruption of the Senate and stuff. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then you get to that point where it's like, get him. And he's like, what? Get him. And it just it just. Yeah. It fits so well of like exactly who Sidious is, but also like Dooku still feels he's a good guy in the end, you know. And, and then he finds he's been betrayed in that moment. I love and like the they don't go into that, but you see it on Chris you see it on his face. Oh, Christopher's face. You see yeah. that betrayal thing. Like he knew who Palpatine. Palpatine's a Sith Lord. Yeah, <laughs> you right? know before he if, he'd have, if he'd have been like he's he lying, <laughs> but he, he couldn't, you know. So like, it, no, I get. You. I think yeah. George has those ideas, but it's like. What do you want to show, and how much time do you have, and how long can they be? Could they be six hours, and you tell everything? Yeah, but yeah. Who, is people going to watch that? Well, he's Maybe. also like, also, this is for eight-year-olds. <laughs> sure, you know? yeah. Like, I want that there, but I also want it to be a fairy tale. It's to the reason that your, one of your main characters dies of a broken heart, you know? Sure. It's not meant to be hard sci-fi or, or that. Like, adults can appreciate it, too, yes, but kids got to understand stuff, this stuff as well. Sure. And you can I, also uh, have moments of that stuff, too, where... Sometimes people live until they see the last person that they're mm-hmm. waiting for or something like that. Where, like, she was so broken that she just died, yeah. you know? I don't know. There's, there's weird elements like that where it's like, I can't explain this, but this is what happened. Sure. <laughs> you know? I don't know. Yeah. I, uh, I was wondering if we were going to use Yaddle's death to bleed the blade or not, but we, it was worse. Sure. It was just a slice and just a little tiny steaming body. Sad. I like, and I even like that Yaddle's, like... You know, I I agree with you, and I left the like I stepped down from the council because, you know, the the things that they're saying and them not agreeing yeah. and different things. Like I understand what you're saying. I like yeah. she's there on his side, and like yeah. come to me. We will fix whatever crimes you've done. That's the thing, and we will stop this Sith Lord. Mace Windu the, would never do that. No, he'd be like, all right, you fucked up. I'm gonna fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, sure. But she like reached out like everything you've ever done. I give you absolution, and yeah. we can stop the devil. Yeah. Dooku says, I'm afraid. And then he thinks back, oh, Qui-Gon's gone. I'm afraid it's too late. Ugh. It's good shit. Sings tingles down my spine. The whole loss of Maul and Dooku, that moment there, just, <clears throat> I think, helps Sidious, right? Like, he's like, yeah, if that happens, I got him. And the loss of his apprentice yeah. will help me more, right? Like, he have a goal without a plan. Yeah. Every Maul time he lost an apprentice, yeah, he Maul traded it up. After, I don't know what I said. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's the frustrating thing about watching the Clone Wars where you're like, hey, there's yeah. another Republic victory, and you want to go, yay, we did it. And then you sit back and you're like, that's exactly what Papadine wants. Sure. Yeah. Every victory and every defeat 
is for his goal. It, it's not a plan. It's a goal. It's a thing I've thought about. Uh, I don't remember when it was. It was somewhat recently. I'm like, what in Star Wars did Palpatine plan? Which ones is like? How does he just like improv it into exit? Like, there's no way he gets everything he wants to oh, happen, yeah, I know. right? But like, he must be like, all right, well, I'll take this one, make this one work. I didn't plan on Anakin showing up, but you know, I don't, I don't know what exactly he planned or didn't plan. But it just so he works it so well and makes it work for him. So and well. he's a master chef, just getting ingredients that people are sitting. Yeah, getting yeah them. right. He's he was like, like, "Here, well, take this. I'll make this work." All right, let me. Yeah, I think Whoa. it's easy to say, like, "Well, it's a it's a fairy tale, so the bad guy just uh, you know he is he is L from Death Note, where like he just figures all this shit out, right? Sure. Like, regardless of how hard it would be to do, but we've seen in stuff like Rebels, like uh, even in the Clone Wars too, Palpatine is not just. He's not just incredibly smart. He is the Lord of the Sith, and he concocts these blue flames, and he looks into weird dimensions. You know, like, we've seen him do these things. Like, there's a reason that he's always around the corner because he never stops looking. There's a Force mystical art that he's using that the Jedi don't know that gives him some kind of extra, I don't know, clairvoyance. Yeah. You know? Yeah. As, what's the uh, line in the... uh, the room in the Death Star. It's like, find the rebels' hidden base, right? Mm-hmm. It's like the Force didn't do this for you. Yeah, but like the Emperor might have known. The I don't sorcerer know. ways. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I just think of that. Like somehow he must be doing something that mm-hmm. connects him to different ideas. Falcon will come in two movies later and be like, we don't gotta find their base. They can find ours. <laughs> you know. All right. Well, I don't want to stay to end. I just want to keep watching these. <laughs> well, we still have a few more. Let's do it. It's not over yet. The camera's too close to the lane. Ah. Oh! Thunk. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? Ah, Anakin! What? Compose yourself. Really Clone Wars, Anakin. Yeah. Well, everyone's just in here watching her? Yep. Oh, oh look at them all. Oh, really? I thought it was late. <laughs> That's what I meant. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Cool. These are the new training mounts. <laughs> He didn't even say anything. <laughs> oh, it shrinks. Battle Royale. Captain Love is outside the circle. Captain Love. There was nothing! That's cannon! It was, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's cannon! He had a little top knot. Yeah, it's definitely yes. a lot right there. Oh, man, that's so cool. And his master. I imagine they won't have Yoda speak because we don't have Tom Kane. Yeah. And then we'll see what you really love here in Matt Lanner again. Yeah, I know. I'll make you an actual test. Mm. Oh, but one looks so bottled with that mullet. I know. <laughs> I thought I was late. That's what I mean. <laughs> He's just taking what everyone says. <laughs> you fuck. Rex. Rex, me boogie. Rex and the boys have agreed to help with the test. Sorry, my boy. It's our privilege, Commando. Droids are predictable. I want you to be prepared for anything. Oh my god. You mean like if clone troopers attack you? He saved her from Water Sissy 6 with this. Yeah. Yeah. Don't yeah. worry, Rex. Oh, wake up. Wake up. <laughs> Stunned! <laughs> You'll get used to it. Wake up. You'll get used to it. <clears throat> Jesse really tagged you. Sorry, Commander. Jesse. <laughs> 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 oh, Jesse. Dang! Hold back a can't. little. I have to wait an hour. I'm gonna get my shot in. I yeah, it might be longer though. This might be child abuse. You think the Jedi, in general, aren't? She's a, a child bit... soldier, <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> like, take it into context. It's all bad. This is about life and death. And as your master, I'm responsible for you. The best way I can protect you is to teach you how to protect yourself. All right, boys, let's go again. I hate that I love and I hate this so much. Wow. <laughs> and that, is that it? Yeah. Oh, it's not. Shut oh, up, Eric. God, Shut thought, the fuck up. We've been just as good, in my opinion. <laughs> She's still training on the ship. If I could not do it, I would do ten minutes. Yeah, we're in a different location now, huh? We are yeah. on the ship. She's changed. And she has two sabers. It's a little She's bit further along. 
This is like one of her trainings, like as they like the strain. Her face too. Yeah. His hair is longer. Oh. <laughs> oh, Rex is joining in. <laughs> he got her. <laughs> Enough. Ow. Come on, Dave. You can't do that. You stabbed me in the heart. You ran away. Back to Pittsburgh. We're all familiar names. Yeah, yeah. no. Yes, this sir. is this is like a Clone Wars episode, you know? Like it was. <laughs> I mean, they've all been very good as far as that. Like the animation has been just building off of that. But I just really like this. Like, I think in the trailer it showed her like training with clones. And I was like, oh. I think I said something like that. What prepares her for like in the future to have to fight against and survive against the clones too? Like. I see. I, like that's exactly what they're pushing on this idea is like why did she yeah. survive that it's like it's because of Anakin and I love his line of like the best way for me to protect you is to teach you to protect yourself it's my responsibility to protect you and that's why I can do that yeah and it wasn't the Jedi way of doing it no no it wasn't like that's why like when you watch in episode 3 all the Jedi and all their uh, their clones get turned on him and they like block 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 and then they get shot you know and eventually Kiati Mundi Blocks a little bit, gets yeah. shot, and goes down. And that's exactly what she does her first time. She's, like, blocking a few, like, and then she goes down, you know? The Jedi fall because of Anakin Skywalker. But Ahsoka, who is no longer a Jedi, survives because of Anakin Skywalker. Yeah. No. It's just, like, this is what all Jedi do. It's like, yeah, but not real test. <laughs> you know? Like, <laughs> it looked like it was tough, but yeah. I mean, let's make it tougher. Just, like, in every respect, <sighs> the Jedi are stuck in their ways they don't want to advance with anything right technology included like droids are getting better they're getting faster they're firing two shots in parallel rather than just one so they're harder to block you know all of these things and they're still not as good as a human shooting at you but they still train with droids it's a lot harder than Luke's test I can tell you that but he couldn't see <laughs> yeah, that was day one. Yeah, she, yeah. <laughs> yeah. she had her eyes the whole time. Blindfolded. Yeah. So you think Caleb Did passed? You... Maybe. It was cool to see him being there. It's just nice to see the connections a little bit here and there. Yeah. Especially that reuse of the model from uh, Bad Batch, right? <laughs> Bad like Batch, him. yeah. And, and the very of end of Clone Wars, they had him in the uh, sure. opening. It makes those moments just bittersweet, like knowing now that we've seen all of the Clone Wars and we've seen... Not just, you know, that we know the Empire is going to rise, but we see Jesse, we see Rex go through Order 66. It makes everything that comes before it so much more bittersweet. Sure. I guess I mean, how I felt when we were re-watching Clone Wars with you guys, you know? Yeah. Uh, no, I mean, the Clone Wars do such a good job of making you care about the clones. Like, there was like, ah, Jesse got a good hit on you. Like, sorry. sorry, Commander! Yeah. You know, like, I love that. And I'm like, ah, it's Jesse, you know? It's just like all these clones that died over the time, and I, I like I like this episode a lot, and I like seeing like the training, and I like seeing that it didn't just it wasn't just in that moment; it was something that she did over time. You know, we yeah. saw like some progression of it and stuff mm -hmm. happening, and I like just seeing more. And of that, that Anakin will not stop. That's one of his greatest weaknesses, but it's also one of his greatest strengths. When he has his mind on something, he just does it. Yeah. Despite what the Jedi say, really good. It's a good that, episode. It's really sad. Great and music. Different. Again perspective of them walking into the hangar yeah. the last time. Mm -hmm. Sure. During the purge. Yeah, and also, I like the choice to, you know, you could easily get Frank Oz or even just someone else to, to do Yoda's voice, but uh, Tom Kane's voice is so iconic to the Clone Wars that I'd rather not hear it, <laughs> you know, coming out of that model, that look of Yoda. Sure. I mean, even the beginning of these are all, like, they, they all start, like, in space or in the atmosphere. It just kind of, like, starts, and we just ease in. But it's not like, you know, Tom Kane being, like, you know, Destruction on Camino, but, <laughs> you know? No, I mean, they, uh, they have a different feel to them, which yeah. is good. But also just feels like a, a little bit, too. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I did, like, you see Anakin, like, 
learning from Obi Wan, like using the same like, <laughs> hey, the same right on time. Yeah, because I was running late. That's what I meant. You know, like it is the same idea. I mean, it's you know, Ahsoka was given to Anakin as his Padawan because Yoda and Obi Wan thought it would be good for him to learn to give something up. But we know that he doesn't do that well at all, Mm-mm. especially with Ahsoka. It was so hard for him when she left. But he, this training is hard because he's like, look, I want you to live. I care about you. I want sure. you to, you know. Especially so, in, in a war time, yeah. right? Like, let's push the training more so because we're also training these young Padawans to yeah. be soldiers in that army. I just think that it's important, as, as much as Anakin is at fault for so many things, so much falls because of his hate. But the things that he loves also can stand up, too. And I think that's an important lesson then. Luke Skywalker will one day face as yeah. well. Yeah, eventually it reflects on like why he is saved because mm-hmm. of the love he has for stuff, right? Yeah. yeah, he does not want to see his son, even though he does like hardly any attachment to his son. Mm-hmm. What is there for his wife and you know everything else is just like yeah. he probably looks at that and thinks of like, does he think about Obi Wan or does he think about like Padme and like mm-hmm. what would Padme want, thinking that she was dead and that he never had a kid, you know? Yeah, so okay, sticking a needle on his daughter though. He didn't know at the time. He didn't That's know. Before. They also kissed. He was all uppity. Right? <laughs> Other sister kissed. They didn't know either. It just happens. And now, like, you look at that and you're like, ah, oh, then they kissed. But nowadays, like, it happens in real life. <laughs> oh, man, we're related? <laughs> yeah, I didn't know. <clears throat> all right. <laughs> what, Calvin? <laughs> just explaining it away. It's like, it happens all the time. <laughs> it happens, yeah. it happens more than... Zero. <laughs> and nowadays, I don't know. It may have happened before. Well, we just didn't know how to Let's find out. not do 23 and me, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> Ignorance is bliss. <laughs> sure. All right. We have one more to watch, though. Uh, Are we ready for it? No. no yeah. I don't want it to be over. I don't want it to be over. Oh. Let's just not do it. And it'll never be over. You want to just never watch it. We Eric? will watch it when the second season, second season comes out. When the second se- okay. What if there is no second season? What if it's a Jar Jar episode? That'd be some shit. Can you imagine that? Holy shit. If it were going to happen, it would have happened last episode during the Tatooine Naboo fight. If it's a Jar Jar episode, we need to play that uh, Vinland Saga audio clip of that guy being like, (laughs) Holy shit! (laughs) (laughs) I forgot about that. (laughs) Naboo, Padme's funeral. Oh, man. Wow. I think we got a clip of this in Clone Wars or Bad Batch, didn't we? <sighs> oh. Hmm. I didn't know Ahsoka was there. It's sad. Yeah. She got off that planet and made it here in time. Fulcrum. <laughs> she Batman. She didn't give it back. We have a duty, don't we? <laughs> An obligation to uphold. When we're able. <laughs> <laughs> He's so good. I escort you back to the procession, Senator. I understand. And if you should ever need anything. <laughs> oh, Rex. And the, the Y-Wing. <laughs> Just the intro. That was over. I know. That was done. <laughs> oh, Rick, that could have ended. I'm like, man, all right. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> it, it, it what? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> the crash and shuttle, right? Hey, it's the guy from the first episode. Yeah. yeah. Oh, is that where we are? Is this the place where Well, Dooku the second and... episode. Right? Is this the place that Dooku and them came in? It seems like yeah, it's yeah, the same, that's right. the same kind of walking yeah. and stuff. Man, it looks so much better. Yeah. You just leave me to... Oh! Put on the other side, droid! Balance! Right? Concentrate! Ahsoka! <laughs> Fuck, you gotta go. Ashla, come sit with us. Ashla. Ashla and the Bogan. 
Ashla Exton. There's an ancient name for the light side of the Force as well. Master Jedi. You shouldn't say such things. Eric, why did you tell that man to call the local garrison? We'd be lucky if it's a garrison. Killed everybody. The droid. Oh, man. I'm so sad. It's on fire. It's not a good Fuck. Oh, he's scary. You claim a Jedi was here, and yet I find no one. I promise Clancy you, I'll be back. Yeah, hundred percent. I turned her in. He's not lying. <laughs> He is terrifying. Yeah. Dude, the, the wind and the fire is so cool. You're supposed to be dead. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh my god! She is so cool! It was amazing! His head deflated. What a fight. What a badass. That's a Tanta yeah. 4. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck, yes. Are you sure you're ready to get back into the fight? There, the dodging, and just, just, she's that was beat the Inquisitor. Yeah, yeah, that was she one of the better. She outforced him. She turned yeah. his saber off. Well, like yanked it out of his hand. Do you remember when like, him with it. Kanan and Ezra were fighting the Inquisitors, and it was like, oh, this is tough. Yeah, and, like she showed up, and she just like beat them both. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like handily. It was like <laughs> they, they had to like really work together to kind of like push back against her and stuff. But dude, she's such, she's so good. <laughs> Fucking. That oh, Rebels spent so much time telling you no one can stand up to Darth Vader. And she looks at him and is like, I am no Jedi, no fear, you know? I loved Organa's talking to her up on the roof <laughs> so much. That was but so we cool. still have a duty, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it. Of course, that's Leia's dad. So easy to get lost. I love him like, yeah, I love him just talking to those clone <sighs> troopers. Knowing she can hear. Mm-hmm. And like, those clone troopers like, that was weird. <laughs> you know, like, uh, if you ever need anything, yeah, yeah. If you ever need anything, be sure to get a hold of me. You when, know, it's like, oh, yeah. oh, okay. When we're able, and yeah. she just she destroyed that Inquisitor. <laughs> Wonder what brother he was. It's cool, cool design, thing. though. Yeah, it oh, is yeah. very very cool design. And I mean, how many roles has Clancy Brown had in Star Wars now? He's Savage Press. Sure. He's uh, the governor. The, the, yeah, the dude from Rebels. Yeah. What was his name? With an R. Uh, Ryder. Ryder. Yeah. He was uh, the muscle in that one episode of Mandalorian, right? Yeah. Like, uh, Gorger. I can't remember what his name yeah. was, but he was uh, Davaroni. He was, uh, yeah. And this and, guy. And this guy. And this guy, an Inquisitor. Four. Sure. Like, I can't At least. One. At know? least four. <laughs> You're not Clancy Brown. Oh, yeah, I don't have that voice. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> That's a thing, yeah. You need a menacing voice. You do. Or Mr. Krabs. <laughs> or Mr. Krabs. <laughs> SpongeBob! SpongeBob, my boy! <laughs> so Ahsoka cool was at Padme's funeral. Yeah, that's so sad. It is. <clears throat> like, imagine what that must be for her to... She knew She knew about Anakin and Obi-Wan... Uh, um, Anakin and Padme, and... Like, how much does she know? Does she know that Anakin's responsible for her death? Is she just... Uh, I don't know. It's got to be such a weird feeling for her. Because Padme was kind of an attachment that maybe she shouldn't have had. Sure. It was a friend. According to the Jedi. Right? Way. Yeah. Sure. But again, man, this show, like, what does it mean? Like, this is Tales of the Jedi. What does it mean to be a Jedi? Yeah. Even after the Order, like, Ahsoka is like, hey, Organa is telling you how to be a Jedi. He doesn't know. But he does. Because that dude raises Leia. No. I, I liked, I mean, I mean, we finished it all now. But, like, the oh, stories we had with, like... That's what I was trying to avoid. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> we finished them. Uh, but, like, I this, didn't want to watch them all. I was like, just excited for two weeks. 
We didn't get to see, like, Ahsoka, like, being discovered by yeah. Plo Koon or whatever. But, like, you know, the, the old lady being like, it's a Jedi. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But just seeing, like... I don't know. We see them both kind of... At the... I don't know. We see Ahsoka at the very, very beginning. But we see, like, Dooku as a Jedi and, like, what leads to his fall. And then, like, Ahsoka, like... We already kind of know what leads to her fall there. But we get to see, like... You know, with this being Tales of the Jedi, is she... Is she a Jedi in this? You know, is this episode, is she a Jedi? And, like, what is, what does it mean to be a Jedi? I think the Jedi's you know? definition of a Jedi is not the Force's mm-hmm. definition of a Jedi. Sure. And, like, you can look at it in a, in a few different ways. Some people like to try to classify, like, the gray Jedi idea and what that sure. is and stuff. I know some people don't like gray Jedi ideas, Eric, but... It's not how it works. Can't use the dark side. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> but, like, you, you know... can use the dark side a little bit. You mean a little bit? No. To know what Once the light you start is, down the dark path forever, will it dominate your destiny? Not that to, to know what the light is, you must first touch the darkness. Sure. <laughs> you know what? I'm just making show. That shit will get you. Sure. It's just interesting to like think about it like that. Because like in this episode of Tales of the Jedi, you're seeing the fall of one, and you're seeing another one who is like, well, I'm no longer a Jedi. Mm-hmm. And it's like, well, why are we seeing this? You see this, it. Like, you know? Like, what's... You see, Ahsoka and Dooku kind of confront the same thing, which is just the loss of confidence that what you fought for was the right thing to do, right? Yeah. Both in the Republic and in the Jedi. Both of them do the sure. same thing, but they both have a different response But that Org- Organa talks about. It's like, what can you do if you're able to fix things, to help people? Dooku goes the other way. Yeah. and He you- goes the way, he, I mean, he literally makes a deal with the devil yeah. to get what he thinks is right. Ahsoka just goes off trying to live her own life, but still when she sees someone in need or in danger, she still helps, right? We see that with with this episode. We see it with with the sisters. Yeah, Trace. Whenever she she crashes there and needs to fix her her bite, but then they kind of fall into trouble and she helps, you know? And it's just that's who Ahsoka is. She's there to... She wants to help people and she wants to better people's lives. Can't wait till the Ahsoka show. (laughs) I know. Sure, Live yeah. action, man. Woof. Though the animation is so amazing, I I don't need it to be live action. Sure. You know, just I would watch a two hour movie of this. Sure. <laughs> like, it's gonna be no contest. It's gonna be more difficult yeah. to do like the the dodging the the training drones sure, yeah. in live action. Yeah, the only weakness this had compared to uh, previous things we've seen in this animation is just the Maul Ahsoka fight opened up what was possible in terms of motion oh, capture that I, I'm sorry for me like you can't do with keyframe animation it looks beautiful it doesn't feel real yeah it still feels like a cartoon whereas when you watch parts of that fight you just feel it you feel weight you, you feel yeah I'm saying you, you feel more of the weight yeah like I love the moment when Darth Maul's like on a foot doing this hit and it feels like in an animation style yeah. I feel like they just wouldn't have him on one foot yeah. but he's it's Ray Park keeping his balance yeah. while he's doing this move you know and that's but even on, doing, it's even on Ahsoka, like... The, the knee turn yeah, feels the, like they're really the doing knee it. turn, but also, like... And they kind of captured it in here a little bit, but when that actress would choose to go reverse or, you know, like she would go reverse a little bit, then she'd go back to standard grip and kind of move it, move it or change it depending on what she was doing. Whereas sometimes in stuff like this, they will kind of just keep her there and just get her to that moment in a keyframe, right? But getting from here to here in a keyframe is just so much different than... After you've done a previous move and then you're going into the next one, you do different shit, you know? This looks and feels more... You have a momentum. Yeah. That yeah. animation doesn't naturally have. Animation, yeah. you just, lose that sometimes. For me, will always feel, especially with sword fighting, will always feel uh, like I'm playing with a really cool toy. Whereas live action and motion capture makes me feel like I'm watching someone emote. Does that make sense? Like if I have a toy and I'm like, ah, oh, I got my lightsaber. Block. Yeah. Block. Yeah. Block. <laughs> in a way, yeah. And it's like, well, yeah, but you're not, like, moving sure. to get there or whatever. But that's also a weird, dumb standard that I have just because I'm such a huge lightsaber fight nerd, you know? Yeah. That I, I don't yeah. begrudge anybody at all that's like, what? That's ridiculous. Shut up. I'm like, you're right. I'll shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I don't think the Star Wars animation is the best example either. Like, I oh, think no, there's yeah. some amazing animated fights out there. Oh, yeah, there's stuff sure. that you can only do in animation... Ruby, the first couple seasons of Ruby, like oh my god, you can't can't compare that to 
to live action stuff. Sure. But even like Abbott Children and you know the Final Fantasy fight that I, that's the only Final Fantasy thing I know, <laughs> and it's one of the best things I've ever seen. As long as it's not like that one Visions. Which I don't, one? I don't like that. One. With Which lightsaber one? like. Oh. Got really? extended and cut through a like, ship and stuff. Remember that? Oh, With the Neil Patrick the Harris one? one. Yeah. The Neil Patrick Harris one. I was like, ah, that sure. One that it. one's like. Watching RRR. <laughs> I don't know. I enjoyed RRR. I didn't really enjoy that one too much. Well, yeah, but RRR is, is playing with characters and themes that isn't something that you've been watching for 40 years or whatever, you know? Maybe, sure. Whereas Star Wars is like, hey, this isn't, you know, but also I begrudge. I don't begrudge anybody from enjoying that type of thing. I just would rather see it sure. my way. Hopefully people enjoyed that. Yeah, but. I didn't enjoy that. I will say, like, this but fight. I enjoy that one a lot. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I'd probably like that better than all of this. Yeah, than all this? Like, oh, man. I guess. This, this for me, this, I think what gets this for me is just the character development of some characters that didn't get too much character development in other sure. times, you know? Like Dooku, and in, especially. Dooku in the Clone yeah, Wars, definitely. like, there's little bits here and there that you get of different things, but ultimately, like, he's the bad Sith Lord. You get to see an apprentice. You get to see him, like, what he does a little bit. But this, I, I understand him better than I did through the Clone Wars or through the prequels and that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's stuff and I really like, like the character development of that. Stuff like this, once you've watched it, you just don't watch him the same anymore. Sure. You know? Like, you kind of understand you understand a little bit more and you, you sympathize with him a little bit more. But Yeah. Like, for this one, me, like, the Dooku stuff, I really enjoyed. And the Ahsoka stuff, honestly, I thought was okay. Like, I, it, the, I like the idea of, like, what Anakin and Ahsoka and the training aspect. I like that a lot. Um... Her in the very beginning was okay, and I thought it was very pretty and stuff like that too. But I don't feel like it added to her character at all. Uh-huh. It was just like a neat, like oh, she touched the animal. No, and I all. agree. I also really like the Dooku stuff, and I feel like the format didn't do the show any favors. Uh, I think I might have liked it better if they were all together, or if it was like mm. a more lengthy thing. What do you mean by all together? Suppose. Like here's the three Dooku, here's the three Ahsokas, or yeah. I don't know. Uh, I just kind of like lost the groove. Like I get between. what they're doing here as far as like they're doing the timeline. Right? Sure. They're sure. starting before episode one, then you get to Dooku into episode one, and then you push into the Clone Wars, and then. But, like, I don't feel like the first. The first episode I liked, but I don't feel like it added like the Dooku episodes did for me. And then the last episode, a time I thought yeah. was cool. Um, but the Ahsoka book covers a lot of the same kind of story beats, I think. Third Ahsoka one's my favorite one of these. Uh, sure. I think it's the. No, I think it's like the second Ahsoka is my favorite of the Ahsokas. Mm. I, just, I like the. The pairing of that with like Order sixty six. Sure, I, I like that a lot. Gotcha. I, I, mean, I personally have no problem with the format, but I'm also the kid that watched season one of Star Wars Clone Wars five minutes at a time. <laughs> you know, <laughs> sure. <laughs> and then you guys got to experience it all together, right? Sure. <laughs> sure. So yeah, I get you. There. I just I think that maybe like modern streaming, especially if you're watching it with your kids and stuff, it's like yeah, uh, you could sit here and you could absorb this whole thing in a day, or you could watch a couple here and a couple there. You know, like. It's more on-demand video as opposed to sure. like showtime at the movies, right? I wonder if like maybe watching it one a day mm. would let you like reflect on that episode a little bit more or something like that. Like I feel like we definitely reflect and discuss things and mm. stuff, but like let, sometimes letting things marinate with you a little bit before you get to the next one sometimes is just a little bit more. But with this one, the way it is, like if it was for like I don't know Kiati Mundi, who I don't know like anything about really, like maybe would I'd you be, have felt. May, yeah, maybe I'd want to marinate on that a little bit more yeah. or something. I don't know. but Not only did I really enjoy it, but I am so curious what a season two and beyond can be. Like, that was just two characters. Who are our next two characters? Is that planned? Do you know? I believe so. I believe that's the idea. Tales of the Jedi is just looking into, you know, characters a little bit deeper. I'd love to see, like, like Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan, you know? Like the Jedi Apprentice type of book kind of ideas. Yeah, sure. I think that would be cool to get some of that. Um, but I also just like Qui-Gon, and we didn't get enough Qui-Gon, in my opinion, you know? I'd yeah. love to know what the pairing is, and, like, the reason for the pairing. What do you mean? Like, like Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan pairing? Well, no, or... yeah, like, here we have Ahsoka, and we have... Oh, like, why they Dooku. pick Dooku yeah. and Ahsoka? And, and, yeah. Yeah, here it's, like, they both, like, they both are addressing, like, the same thing. What does it mean to, to lose trust in yeah. a system that you, you once trusted, right? But and Dooku's now fallen into the a place where, you know, Palpatine will say, "I will never stop questioning your loyalty." And Organa looks at Ahsoka and is like, "You can do something. I trust you. Sure. Call me when you need." Yeah. Me. So like for the next pairing, I wonder yeah. what other two Jedi go sure. on a similar journey. Yeah. But yeah. 
have different outcomes. Like, I think mm, pairing Dooku and Ahsoka together, because they do go through that. Yeah. The only thing is, I think Ahsoka is touched on a lot in the Clone Wars already, and they don't quite touch on that too much here. So, like, you, I don't know. I don't know if you, I don't know if you lose a little bit of that message there. Even like, though, ultimately, what you're seeing in the final episode is, like, what does Dooku do when he, like, is doubting the Jedi Order and everything? And then what does Ahsoka do? Where Ahsoka definitely is, like, I'm going to help people yeah. and try to make things better. Dooku does want to do that, but he kills someone in order to move along that path. I guess I would Ahsoka go... does, too, but she kills someone who's burned a whole village yeah. and is going to kill everyone else, right? Yeah. Like, he's going to kill this guy on his knees, like... As opposed to Yaddo, who's, like, opening a door, <laughs> you know, he's like, let's yeah. arrest this bad guy. I would go, like, Obi-Wan and Luke Skywalker next time. Hmm. Maybe both in their failures as mentors. Like, could be a theme. Hmm. Sure. Right? Like, pick two theme, pick a theme for two Jedi mm-hmm. that could be... I mean, maybe you could do that. You could do the same thing with Yoda and... and- yeah. Or... But I would challenge it just maybe you don't have to Yoda, leave Dooku. the prequel era, but don't be afraid to either, right? Like characters from the prequel era specifically. Yoda and Luke, mm. right? Yeah. But you also see like Yoda with Dooku as his apprentice. Yeah. And you see Luke with Kylo as his apprentice. Mm-hmm. And then you, that. both of those kind of have that element of the fallen Jedi who turn to the dark side with the Sith Emperor, right? Like yeah. they kind of both have that mirror with them. Like you know that, what? That might be cool. That would be cool, but give me an episode that's just like Yoda teaching Luke with Dagobah and Luke teaching Grogu. Like, this more. Like, like <laughs> a complete episode that's just like Luke being like, oh, that's why he made me do this. Oh, you just, know? Just in terms of uh, Star Wars lore, I want to see Palpatine Yoda. I want to see how they were born. Like, I want to see... Oh, yeah. A Palpatine <laughs> one would be great. Sure. But can you do that? that's not Tales, Tales of the Jedi. The Jedi. Yeah. Uh, I doubt he was a Jedi at one point. Ever, yeah. You know? I doubt it. I mean, I don't know where... Maybe he took a correspondence course, you know? Yeah. Like, the Plagueis book and stuff isn't canon anymore, I don't think, so... It's not. But another piece of uh, media that actually takes place during episode one. Plagueis. In that book, yeah. Yeah, it does. And it shows you, like, a, a little bit of a different side of that. Uh-huh. I, I hope they kind of bring that back in some ways, because I'd love to, like, have something like that and then pair that with, like, this. So you're seeing, like, here's Dooku, and then here's, like, Plagueis and... Palpatine, yeah, and then here's the main movie that you're kind of seeing. Like that'd be really cool to get. No, I really do like a lot of what the Dooku stuff, especially added to like prequel things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I like seeing like him and Mace. I thought that was cool, and seeing like how, cool. how Mace ascends to the council and whatnot. Seeing him go in there and like actually delete Camino from the records and stuff, where it's like, ah, there you go. Because I'll be honest, when I was a kid in episode two, in episode three, like I don't, I didn't understand what was going on with that. You know, like that whole kind of idea that. Went over my head. Sure, you yeah. know. So. And now pairing that with the Sifo Deus that we see in the Clone Wars. Yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. And Especially you, with that as well. Really, like I think the Count Dooku stuff just really complements a lot of prequel and Clone Wars stuff. Mm-hmm. Ahsoka stuff probably does a little bit too, but I think mainly the second episode and maybe the last one does for me. Yeah. Um, which I think it complements the Ahsoka book, mm-hmm. like the Ashla thing. Like, oh, that. Yeah. Like, that she goes by that in the Ahsoka book too. You know, like it's kind of a name she just takes on because you can't be Ahsoka anymore. Sure. So, I think I might need to like re-look through the Ahsoka book and like maybe think about what I have here and things that they talk about and things that she says there and maybe it pairs differently there too. Yeah. I, I love the, the, the fight in that last one though. I, I love sure. how Ahsoka just dodge, 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 take. Yeah. yeah. Right? Showing like like Obi-Wan, right? Obi-Wan does kind of the similar thing to Maul where he just like he completely demolishes him. Yeah, right? yeah. Because Maul is think- in too much in his head and thinking about how great this is and all Obi-Wan cares about is his job. Yeah. And Ahsoka here is like, these Inquisitors suck. They have to have, they have, to have these spinning lightsabers and they, you know, they're all bullshit. You know, what I am? Oh. you know what I, I am? You know what I am? A trained Jedi. <laughs> She's a trained Jedi. <laughs> that might have been what she was thinking. That seems a little bit too ego for her though. Well, yeah. I, I mean, of course. <laughs> which... Part of a, being a good Jedi is not just dismissing your ego, but dealing with it, right? But, like, I, I think it goes back to what Bale was saying, like, those who are able. Like, I think in that, when she realizes, like, hey, this scary Sith Inquisitor that comes and does all these things, I can stop it. Why am I not? Sure. I'm able. Like, she could have looked at that and walked away, yeah. right? And not walked up and confronted it. Mm-hmm. And then be like, where's the Jedi? I'm like, I don't know. It's gone. And then all those people die, probably, because yeah. they lied. 
Yeah. Obi-Wan, we see in the Obi-Wan series, he is so fucked up with grief and, like, I've... Guilt. I, and guilt. Like, I failed Anakin so hard. He can't even use the Force. He can barely use his lightsaber. And it's not until... Thankfully, Darth Vader says, hey, man, it's not your fault that he's able to actually do something. I mean, Ahsoka probably has a lot of the similar feelings, but she's able to control them because she left the order before that stuff happened, you know, before they were shown just sure. their hubris up to a mirror and how terrible they've done. Sure. Like, she recognized that. She got out. Yeah. No. And with the idea of, like, if you can help, help. Like, she could have let the girl get crushed and not done anything yeah. but in her doing so she got found out and then it led to that you know yeah, yeah. so like she could have let that one person die and then none of this would have happened but yeah. she was wanting to help or that guy could have just kept his fucking mouth shut <laughs> yeah but it, if you I think if you take what was being talked about he was more on the empire side oh, yeah. than anyone else was he was an imperial sympathizer he was and, wanting to be rewarded for what he did yeah I'm helping the empire I'm pointing out a Jedi sure. but then it all turns on him and I bet he's not an imperial sympathizer anymore Especially going off of Bail Organa after having his whole village burned. Yeah, like I bet he did it to help the village. Probably, yeah. Because you know they're well, not getting much money for late. the crops. Like, like at yeah. the point where the village exactly. no longer exists, I would stop trying to turn the person in. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's like the there she is over there. I want my reward. Well, he you destroyed the fucking idiot. But effectively, they did destroy the village because he thought he was lying, right? Yeah. There's no Jedi here. And then it was like, no, no, look, the Jedi. And the guy's like, all right. I'm going to kill you. Look <laughs> <laughs> at Inquisitors. All right, well, this was, uh, this was, a, this was fun. I, I, it's a smaller project, but, you know, dealing with some pretty heavy themes for some very important characters that have been part of Blindway for a very long time now, at this point. Ahsoka. Yeah. Right? No, yeah. Yeah. And going back to the, the final confrontation with the Inquisitor, mm -hmm. using the same tactic that they used in Kenobi, mm -hmm. you know, they... They expose themselves. Yeah. All you have to do is just hurt people around them. The Jedi Code is what... They can't yeah. not. <laughs> You're right, yeah. And if they didn't show up, then we just kill them. One, no one's there to sure. tell a tale. Mm -hmm. Two, they lied to us, so what use are they? Yeah. You know, that's how they look at it, I think. So. Mm -hmm. This was fun. Yeah, I, ex I was excited for it. It delivered for me. I want to see... I definitely like, would like... Give me another season, different characters. I definitely would fun. like more. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it enough that I would like to see more of what they could do with this and expand on different yeah. Jedi's and characters and stuff. And I also love that we can honor both, uh, you know, legacy character actors, Ian McDermott and and uh, uh, who else was in here? Uh, the last episode. The last episode. What were you thinking? Of? Well, like I was saying, like Corey Burton, like is actually speaking with Ian McDermott. You know, he's actually. Having scenes with like a legacy, you mean Qui Gon Jinn? Yeah, and, and Liam Neeson, of course, too. Yeah, it's just it's just so cool to see characters or voices interact, like mingle, right? Like it used to be back in the day where it's like, well, there's the Star Wars films, and you guys can have your little cartoons. But now it's like, no, those actors are interacting with these actors, sure. and we're mixing, and we're gonna have the Ahsoka live action series, and it's like, hey, this shit that I cared about for a long time. You gotta watch it now. You gotta go back and you gotta see. I think that when the Ahsoka live action show comes out, this is gonna blow up even more. Than sure. Right now. Yeah. I think it'd be really cool to see. And you get to honor someone like Ashley Eckstein, who has been an ambassador for that character and that that group of fans for so long. And then there was a little bit of resentment, you know, just with some people whenever she was replaced with Rosario Dawson. You know, a lot of people were wanting her to do live action stuff. But I'm glad that she can come back and still be the voice of such an iconic character. Sure. Mm -hmm. That people hated when she came out. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's Star Wars. Such a turn. Around. I know. I mean, that's, that's, Star Wars. that's Star Wars in a nutshell. What is this new shit? <laughs> I think I discovered who my number one J Tales of the Jedi, I think, would be. I okay. Don't, I don't know who to pair them with, though. Okay, you tell me, I'll tell you the pair Leia. What? They're twins. Why would you pair it with Leia? It makes perfect that's sense. Dumb. But what's the theme? How There's does that no work? others. We saw a little bit of it. I think having like Leia's training and some oh, of that no. stuff, I, I think I would be you. really cool. But you'd I have to have Luke though. But I don't know. Well, I mean, she would. He would be in it, but yeah. not the other mm -hmm. pair. I don't think. I think we know a lot. Oh, of you that. mean like the way this is Dooku? If you're and picking Ahsoka. a theme, who do you uh, pair them with in a way? Barriss you know? right? Because Barriss was the one who became disillusioned and resorted to terrorism. Leia. Through a certain point of view, resource to terrorism as well. Maybe. 
be if the kind theme of. is terrorism. Well, I mean, it's freedom <laughs> fighting. I mean, that's one of the, the best things about, uh, I mean, about Andor right now, right? Okay, it's it's like, terrorism does not equal no. freedom fighting, and freedom fighting does not also equal terror. No, but depending on who they're fighting gets to define if they're a terrorist sure. or a freedom fighter. That's the thing, right? Yeah. Like, if, uh, if Leia and her rebels go and attack an uh, imperial outpost, yeah. the rebels... But if Ferris Offee blows up a Republic like hangar, mm-hmm. she was a terrorist, right? Yeah, if the Americans are catching this ship of tea on fire, the British, that's an act of terrorism. Mm-hmm. Sure. But they're also <laughs> rebelling from against their oppressor government sure. or whatever, right? They... That's the idea. So I, it, it, it's point of view. <laughs> sure. Her, right? I mean, it's also whether you're targeting like a military target or a civilian target, right? I mean, I suppose so, yeah. Like that's, I, I feel like that's a part of it, and I think both of them targeted typically mm-hmm. military places, although oh, yeah. Beresoffi's military hangar place also had civilians in it working, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. So it's like, well, we blew up the Death Star 2. Yeah. They were still building it. Weren't there civilians fixing the toilets and stuff yeah. there? But I mean, There were holes everywhere. You know they were working on that shit. Like, you know, we know Leia was super involved with the Rebellion. You know characters like Saul Guerrero gave them a lot of flack when it comes to, like, hey, what, how, how was it to do the right thing? when you're rebelling, right? Yeah. yeah. So I yeah. think you could tell interesting stories in that regard. But I, I was just trying to think of, like, specifically a Jedi person that might, from the prequel era, that might feel the same way. Yeah, I'd like to pull someone from somewhere else, because I think that would be really interesting. Yeah. But I don't know if I don't know if it works the same way, because this was, like, Ahsoka, then after well, the that, Kung Dooku and his after story. After the prequels, we don't have a lot of Jedis to pick from. Mm-hmm. Sure. But, no, it's, that's true. And then Luke gets a dozen students, and... How kills him! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, have, we still don't have Airman. How did he... Finn. Finn? Yeah. I mean, if he becomes a Jedi, I guess. He feels the Force. If that's what they're going to do with him. I don't know if that's what they're going to do with him. I think you could do it. I think if they were going to continue, they would have Finn be a Jedi apprentice. I wouldn't mind them fleshing out more of the sequel trilogy with different information like that. It seems like they're like, you know what? Let's leave that alone and go to this because everyone's like, ah, it's so bad. It's the same thing with the prequels. Like, For a long time. Let's leave it alone. But, but now Disney made the sequel trilogy, down. and they're like, you know what? People seem to like the prequel stuff. Let's dive back into that more. And that's what they're going with now. It's like, it's like eventually you said, this happens in all Star Wars projects. They're, they'll do a Ray Finn thing in 15 years. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I just don't want them to wait too long to where it's like, well, let's digitally de-age and do this stuff. Sure. Like, do it now while they're still yeah. young and able and not you know old or dead or whatever. Sure. Yeah. Like, we still have Mark Hamill, you know? Yeah. Like, use him for something, you know? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I get you. I mean, it's, it's exactly what Lucas went through. Is like, he made the prequels, and he's like, and then I'll make, you know, more of these ones, and then people hated him so much with the prequels for trying what he wanted to do, that he's like, all right, I just won't make anything. And then later he's like, I need to sell this shit while it's... Well, I can get money for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then it'll be someone else's problem. He got so much hate for the Ewoks, it took him a long time to make the prequels. <laughs> I know. I like Ewoks. <laughs> Ewoks are funny. They eat you. <laughs> they will. <laughs> Tales of the Ewok. Do that. Let's do that. Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode, or, you know, these episodes of Tales of the Jedi. Who are your picks for maybe two characters we can have in another season? Put them down below. Make sure you subscribe, because not only do we have this, we have Andor going on. <gasps>